In this video, we're gonna learn how to factor trinomials where you have to take out the GCF first before doing the product and sum method. So two things you need to be good at before doing these kind of problems is factoring by GCF and factoring trinomials when A equals one. So if you're not solid in either of those two things, please go back and watch a previous video so we can build on it here, all right? So I've got a trinomial, A is not equal to one. The first thing I always do is see, is there a GCF that I can factor out when my directions are to factor? So I always check for a GCF first. So looking at the three coefficients, five, 25, sorry, and the constant 20, I notice that there is a common factor here, right? And that common factor is five. Now for the variables, I can't pull out a variable term because this last term doesn't have a variable and the GCF needs to be constant for all of the terms or common, sorry, for all the terms. So my GCF here is five. So if we know how to factor by GCF, again, if we don't, please go watch that first. We know that inside this parentheses, we're gonna get X squared plus five X plus four, okay? Now what I've achieved is I've gotten an expression inside the parentheses that's a trinomial where a, the leading coefficient, is one. So again, if you learned or watched the past video and you know how to factor trinomials where a equals one, now this seems like a much more doable problem than this one. So we factored out the GCF first. It's gonna just kind of keep on coming down in our work to our answer. And we're gonna go ahead and do product and sum inside this parentheses. So for the expression inside the parentheses, my product is four and my sum is five. So I'm looking for two numbers that multiply to four and add to five. Two numbers that will multiply to four and add to five. So my two numbers are gonna be four and one. If you remember from the previous video, once you find those two numbers, you set up your two binomials and you write x plus four times x plus one. Now that five I factored out, like I said before, needs to come down into my answer, all right? So here, is the factored version of this trinomial up here. So to recap, we first looked at all the terms and saw was there a GCF that I could factor out? There was, we factored out that five, and what we were left with in red in the parentheses was a trinomial where A was one, and because it was one, we were able to do our product and sum method that we learned in the previous video, right? So product was four, sum was five, two numbers that multiply to four, and add it to five were one and four, and that's why those went in the parentheses. All right, let's do a second example here. So I'm asked to factor. So again, anytime my directions are factor, I'm always looking at all the terms and seeing, is there a common factor that I can take out? So for my numbers, I have four, negative four, and negative eight. So is there a number that goes into all of those? Of course there is, it is four. As far as the variables are concerned, again, I can't factor out any variable because all the terms don't have one, all right? So my GCF is four. When I factor out the GCF of four, inside my parentheses, I'm gonna have x squared minus one x, or just minus x, and minus two. Now I have a trinomial inside the parentheses where a is equal to one, so I can do my product and sum method that I learned. My product, is C, so it's negative two, and my sum is B, so it's negative one. So I'm now looking for two numbers that are gonna give me a negative product, so I know one of those numbers is negative, and a sum of negative one, all right? So two numbers that multiply to negative two and add to negative one, and those numbers are negative two and positive one, right? Multiply them, you get negative two, add them, you get negative one. Once I found my numbers, I go ahead and set them up in my two binomials, x minus two times x plus one, and I don't forget the GCF that I had factored out before. And there is my answer. All right, here's a practice problem for you guys. Go ahead and try to factor this. And as always, the answer will be down in the description. So if you get it correct, give me a thumbs up so I know. And if you don't get it correct, then you can't seem to find your mistake. As always, leave a comment. I will try to help you figure it out. 